Good afternoon, and welcome to the Idahoan Show. You know, I'm told that uh, if you join the Boy Scouts, one of the things they teach you is how to start a fire using steel wool and a battery. Um, you know, steel wool is basically a resistive medium, so if you run electric currents through it, it heats up and you can use that to start a fire. Uh, the thing is, if you're only using a 9 volt battery, the steel wool doesn't really burn, it, it just kind of smolders. And if you're a good Boy Scout, I guess that's enough to start a fire with. However, I'm more of an engineer than a scout. So, what I have here is an 1800 watt DC power supply. Uh, it takes 120 volt AC current, runs it through a full bridge rectifier, and then there's a bank of capacitors on the output that smooths out the, the oscillations in the current. Um, what we're actually going to do here is turn it on for just a minute to charge up that bank of capacitors. And then we'll go ahead and turn that off to avoid blowing any breakers when we do this. I'm going to put on some protective gear. And now we'll just connect each of these terminals to some steel wool. and touch them together. A little bit more power there than you'd get out of a 9 volt battery. Trouble is though, this power supply runs on 120 volt AC wall current and if we're out in the woods trying to start a fire, that's not available. So what we need is a portable version of this, a large capacitor that we can charge up from a, a battery power supply of some kind. Now, it wouldn't be that difficult to build a simple charging circuit that runs off, say, a 9-volt battery, um, but there's actually a commercial solution already available. It's called a camera flash. So what I've done here, I've taken an old uh, you know, independent camera flash module, I, I've taken out the flash bulb itself, and replaced it with uh, a manual momentary push-button switch, uh, and a couple of wires to uh, connect the steel wool between. So now if we just charge up our camera flash, it takes a minute to charge. All right, our charge light is on. So now we just push the switch. You think we can start a fire with that? Okay, so here we've laid out our campfire, and I've already taken a little piece of wool, uh, steel wool and put it in with the uh, tinder down there, and then connected it between two wires of this old uh, scrap of telephone wire here. And I also took the liberty of dousing the whole thing in uh, a little bit of uh, charcoal lighter fluid to expedite ignition. So now, we're just going to take our modified camera flash and connect it between these two wires. And then charge that up. But anyway, we have now started a fire using only a piece of steel wool and a, a couple of AA batteries and a little intervening circuitry, admittedly.